Hello and welcome back to Profile Trees YouTube channel where today, within today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Agile transformation as a process so that we can give you a good understanding of how you can actually become more agile in your approach when it comes to implementing a digital transformation within your own business environment. And before we do take a look at this video, I want to remind you that Profile Tree are a web design, digital marketing, SEO and video agency, and we are also offering support and guidance in around digital transformation. So if you are a business that wishes to grow and achieve a competitive edge, why not reach out to myself today and I'd be more than happy to conduct a business diagnostic or a business analysis, understand exactly what technology is going to be best suited towards your business to achieve that sustainable growth. You can find both my email and the business email on screen now, so I will look forward to hearing from you soon. So what exactly is business agility? So business agility is probably could be considered as a people-centered, organization-wide capability that enables us as businesses to deliver value to our customers. And this is achieved by inspiring and harnessing the collaborative, creative ways of working in terms of the people that work within your organization. So how can you get these individuals to work in a way that really promotes productivity and high results? So when a business is described as agile, it normally means that it possesses the ability to adapt, respond and thrive in a rapidly changing environment. And an agile business embraces flexibility, speed and innovation to navigate uncertainties, seize opportunities and deliver value to their customers. So if you're a business and you think you can probably respond quickly and effectively to opportunities and threats that are found within the internal and external environment, then you could probably consider yourself as an agile business, but you might want to understand exactly how you could really adapt to this more effectively and how you could introduce it into your business in terms of your approach to a digital transformation to ensure that you're successful in the future. And if you do this successfully, you'll be able to adapt quickly to market changes. You'll be able to respond rapidly and flexibly to customer needs and really lead change in a productive and cost-effective way. And for any business leader, they will agree with me that change and the future is unpredictable and the world and its technology changing more rapidly today. This actually increases our needs or requirements to actually embrace agility or be able to adapt faster to allow us to deliver new values, new ways, new opportunities to our customers, making sure that they're constantly coming back and investing in our products or services. So now that we know what Agile might mean for our business, let's take a look at the process of Agile transformation, typically involving the following steps. So the first step that I want to mention is in terms of assessment and alignment. So you want to begin by assessing the organization's current state, including its culture, processes and structures, and by identifying the areas that need improvement and determine the motivating factors in terms of how you might adapt to Agile principles. You will be able to align key stakeholders and leadership on the need for change. Another way of actually adopting Agile process transformation is having a clear vision and strategy. And you may do this by defining a clear vision for everyone to really follow and understand. Therefore, by clearly identifying an Agile culture and the outcomes of your transformation, you can easily communicate the vision and strategy throughout your whole organization to gain the buy-in of your employees and really get them on board and motivate them towards acting upon the new change within your business. And this will come tightly and closely in with educating and training your employees as well. We're providing training and education sessions in around the likes of agile principles, values and practices. Your employees can really work in a new, improved way. And in doing this, this will help you create a common understanding and a shared language for agile within your organization. But in addition to this, really promote productivity and performance. So if you are a business, select an Agile framework that really works for you. And there are many common frameworks out there, such as the likes of Scrum, Kanban, Lean. These are all different types of Agile frameworks that you could use. If you do want some more support in around how you could apply these frameworks towards your business, reach out to myself and I would be more than happy to talk you through this. We are qualified in Agile project management and have a wealth of knowledge in around this specific area. 
So book a one-to-one -one call with me and we could discuss how you could implement Agile as an approach to your own digital transformation today. Within Profile Tree, we focus on cross-functional teams where we have set the business up in different departments, allowing teams to easily interact with each other through the implementation of a new project management software system. And you would be able to do this too by breaking down silos and encouraging communication among various different team members. This will allow you to empower your teams, allowing them to take on different decisions, prioritizing their work based on their customer feedback and value delivery. And these are always new ways to try and encourage a culture of experimentation and allowing employees to really understand that they can learn and adapt to new ways of working through becoming more agile and making use of new digital solutions. As a company, you may want to actually try and foster a culture of continuous improvement where teams regularly adopt their new processes. And like any business, we all know that new changes, new ways of working is quite difficult to actually understand and get used to. So as business leaders, you really want to celebrate your individual success, ensuring that strong leadership support and commitment to the agile transformation can be seen across the whole business. So take employees and use them as examples. Demonstrate their success and the way they're adapting to the new agile transformation as a way or approach that everyone should follow. And before we finish, I want to also encourage you to embrace an agile mindset, where agile transformations require a shift in mindset at all levels of your organization and embracing values such as the likes of adaptability, collaboration, involvement and continuous learning is a way to really excel in this specific area. It also means promoting a culture of experimentation as I mentioned and accepting failure as an opportunity for learning and encouraging your employees to take ownership and accountability where new technology can be daunting challenge for any business and for the best way for your company to get the most out of your new technology is allowing people to fail fast and learn fast and really adopt this type of mindset. So overall, an agile digital transformation involves aligning digital initiatives with agile principles and practices to drive innovation, enhance customer experiences and adapt quickly to changing market conditions. And as I mentioned at the beginning, ProfileTree are offering support in around selecting and implementing technology within your own business environment. So whether it's support in around actually understanding your business further, conducting a business analysis and trying to find out what technology is best suited towards your business, or maybe you need support in around organizational change management and how you can deal with resistance to change. Whatever it may be, book a call with me today and we can discuss how you can get through this journey as effectively as possible. You can find both my email and the business email on screen now, and I will really look forward to hearing from you. That is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day.